Good morning everybody, this is Scott with Believers Underground. We're going to talk about earthquake prediction or or being able to identify an earthquake before it takes place. And this, this message is going out to USGS, NOAA, NASA, the, the works. Okay. We know that we get a heat signature coming off of the fault before an earthquake. Professor Biagi proved that. Uh, and it was validated by a, a scientist over there in, in Russia. So we got the heat signature coming off of this great pressure on the rock before an earthquake. That is an earthquake precursor. The second event we have is a static discharge off of the rock. It's an electric charge that comes off of the great pressure off of this rock before an earthquake. That is also a precursor. It's called earthquake lights in the sky. Uh, I will put links under here. And now well, we got the third piece of this puzzle, and that's ozone. Anytime you have a static discharge or a lightning event, you know, the Earth itself makes and creates ozone. So we will see ozone coming from this type of event, from the rock. Okay? I'll also put that link under here. Uh, the information shock resistant so everyone around the United States start thinking about having a, a, an ozone detector and for the bigger agencies you need to place ozone detectors around all these fault zones okay to, to give us a heads up and then take Professor Biagi's research very serious uh, so we can start s identifying these heat signatures and static discharge signatures from from satellite. Also, uh, 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 Richard Guy and his research with the widening Earth, because the Earth is widening, uh, and you know that too. So we're going to have areas around the equator flattening out. That means we're going to have island sinking uh, from this ice melting. It's post-glacial rebound effect, folks. These are all the dynamics, but we're here to save lives at the underground. Okay? And this is a way to predict earthquakes. Point blank. So set up ozone detectors out there at the Mid-Atlantic Range, too. You know, you need to set them up at sea, too. If you start seeing massive produce, production of ozone, know that an earthquake's coming so we can move these people off the east coast shut down these nuclear reactors now if they would have listened to me or professor biagi uh, with the japan quake because i i warn people way out in advance because i know it takes a lot of time to move people and infrastructure and everything else i understand that you have to have practical application it's not why well, it's not having a, a discovery or knowing something it's getting into a practical application and just like we're doing a weather share right now we can do an ozone share but you gotta also roll out with the ozone stuff you know super lightning storms and other things so it's more than just seeing an ozone increase and that's where these other agencies come in all right, this is my weather share for the day. It's uh, like 42 degrees, Central California, and it's really pretty lovely. Uh, some chemtrailing, which we also know that's radioactive forcing of aerosols because uh, trying to drop the the climate. It's there's a lot more dynamics to that thing, but uh, you know. There's a there's a way to predict earthquakes and and guys on YouTube just like doing weather share you can do it with ozone share you know it, and we can hopefully get more than say a 30 minute or one hour heads up we, we can get you know maybe 10 days heads up or me I try to predict them six months 12 months two years out just off of pressure and weight but here's a way that that you can actually pinpoint an event before the event happens is so we can shut down nuclear power plants in that area okay like Japan could have and they could evacuate those people off the coast just off the information I've been sharing okay love you very much and YouTube truth seekers let your light shine Liberty Broadcasting Network. 
entertaining. I feel good that I'm keeping myself informed. It's great. They say everything that people want to say, but they usually don't. Can you handle the truth?